Welcome to this walkthrough where we will review how to build and define custom label layouts. Using the custom label feature, you could build and print ZPL labels through any form in Dynamics 365. So this could be used to print labels of product, location, fixed assets, or any other labels that might be required. In order to build a custom label, then we have first to specify the form that will has the print option and that contains the information that will be printed on the label. So first, we will have to define a label data source that is linked to the primary table of this form. Then we will have to define the label layout. By that, the print option will be available on the form and then you could print the labels from the available layouts. The custom label feature is available since application release 10.0.33 and it's enabled by default. However, it has a prerequisite to enable the print option on the application form. Indeed, this is one time setup. I'll navigate to the warehouse management module, setup warehouse management parameters, reports. Then here in the custom labels tab, I'll enable this option, display custom label print options. I'll enable this on all forms. To define label layout data source, I'll navigate to the warehouse management, setup, document routing, then label layout data source. The label layout data source in general is used to define the data source of the required information that is used to define placeholders while building the label layout. This could be a simple relation of one table or it could be more complex to include several tables by using the join function. In custom label, we have to define a custom label data source that is linked to the primary table of the form that will be used to print the labels. In this example, we will print location labels, so we have to define a data source that is linked to the location table. I'm going to define a new data source, so I'll click new, then I'll give it a code like WH001. This will be used to print location labels and the label layout type is custom label. Here in the custom label root table, we have to define the primary table of the location form, which is WMS location. Then I'll click save. If further information is required through other tables, like for example, the warehouse table, so we could use the standard edit query to build join relation between the location and warehouse tables. To define custom label layout, I'll navigate to the warehouse management module, setup, document routing, then label layout. First, we have to specify the label layout type, which is custom table. Then I'll define a new label layout. I'll click new, then I'll give it code like standard location, the same for description. Then here in definition type, this will be ZPL in the label layout data source. I'll select the data source that we just defined. Then I'll click save. Then here in this area, I'll paste the ZPL code lines. Here we will notice that we have only one table, which is the locations table. And we have here a very simple layout report. We have only two placeholders, one for the location zone ID and the second one for the location ID. Now let's print and preview the location labels. I'll navigate to the warehouse management module, setup warehouse, then locations. First here, we can see that we have the custom labels print options. Here we can print single label for single location or we can print several labels. So here, for example, I'm gonna select the first two locations. Then here I'll click print locations. Here we have the label layout data source that we have. If we have several layouts for the same data source, then we can select between them. I'll select this one, the label layout, standard locations. Then here I'll select the ZPL printer. Then I'll click OK. Let's navigate to the virtual ZPL printer. Here we have our barcodes. So here we have the location ID and here we have the zone ID.
Now let's review another example of printing fixed asset labels. So I've started from the label layout data source and here I've created a data source for the asset table. Then here in the label layout, I've defined a new layout for the fixed asset labels. Here I give it ID, I specify the label layout data source ID and the ZPL code lines. Now I'll navigate to the fixed asset form and here in the options tab, I can see the custom labels to print fixed assets. Here I'll specify the label layout ID that we just created, then I'll click OK, then I'll navigate to the virtual printer. Here we can see the fixed asset label. So here we have the fixed asset name, location, fixed asset code and barcode.